Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Well today I've got a very special video. I got a bit of a mail call. Actually I did get a mail call and it's from our good friend Pete over in jolly old England. So it's so nice that you sent me this envelope Pete. So just for your curiosity and mine we will open this today on the show and see what I got from Pete. So here we have our airmail package from our good friend Pete. Now I have protected the addresses to protect the guilty here. And uh, here you can see the uh, British stamp sitting here. So Pete, they'll always be in England and England shall be free. Unless you use the postal system, it's 4P73. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna use a special knife now here. This amazing knife came from my father-in-law. He was gonna get rid of it. But anyway, I ended up with it. So let's see what's inside here. Okay, he's used, uh, Pete's used the brown packing tape as opposed to the clear style. I do suspect this envelope's been used before. <laughs> anyway, I won't tell Pete if you don't. Okay, let's see here. I wonder if Pete included a shop card in here. Would be nice. I do have one from Rick Zink a very long time ago. It's been the only one I've had. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Aha. There's a little envelope in here. And what else? That might be it. Yes, that looks like it. Okay, so. Ah, maybe I should open the envelope here first. See, see what the greetings are from Jolly Old England. Oh, there's a bunch of uh, interesting cards in here. Oh, some more items falling out. There we go. I did get a shop card. Cool, let's just move this for a sec. There we go. Pete's Model Car Customs. Looks like it's hand done. Even feels like it. Ooh, quite nice. It's one thing I've got to do here on the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage is come up with some of these. Um, yeah, so I don't know what people would want to see. Okay. I wonder if I should read all this on the back here, but here's a nice little card Pete also sent in from Norwich Cathedral. So uh, let's see what else we got here. It says, hi, hi, Trevor, I hope this envelope gets to you as you left me. Uh, there's the Pepsi decals, some Budweiser decals, and a couple of Rat Fit Fink stickers. Best wishes to you and your family, and of course, Danny the dog. Love your programs and reviews. Trevor, thank you very much, and best wishes from Jolly Old England, Pete, Pete's Model Car and Customs. Okay, it says, I live about two miles past this red... Red uh, <laughs> Norwich Prison. Can't really read that part. But anyway, so there it is. Norwich Cathedral. Okay, thanks, Pete. Okay, just in case you wrote something on the back of your shop card. Oh, look at this. The, that's pretty cool. See, uh, my Monster Hobbies logo is kind of based off this uh, Ed Roth style. There we go. Yeah, that's very nice, Pete. Thanks for those. And of course, the shop card and the Norwich Cathedral. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, if you guys want to send me something, um, yeah, just contact me through an email. Okay, so let's see here. What's going on? <clears throat> so we got a couple little bits of tape here. <sighs> You know, let's get this uh, father-in-law throwaway knife here. <laughs> I don't know. One of these days I should show you the knives my dad made for when we were in Scouts back in the day. But no, if you guys would be interested in knives on the model car garage. I mean, these aren't like exacto knives. These are like big hunting knives. So here are the Pepsi decals. Well, that's neat. So this is broken right here for a door on a van side door 
You could almost use these as a billboard. I wonder. It's kind of nice with all the uh, Coca-Cola stuff coming out from AMT recently to actually have a rival, <laughs> a rival soft drink company on the, um, oops, uh, in the uh, collection, you know. So what do we, what do we got here for license plates? Just got to move in. So we got this one from New York. Here's Illinois and there's Michigan. These look like 1971 plates. There are Trailmobile uh, decals here. And of course numbers for down below. On the side of the truck toward the rear or something. Weight, weight scale numbers I guess. And then Pepsi Cola and of course the Pepsi logos. Those are for the cab doors. The rear door. Okay, yeah, and these would be the side. That would be the front. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Moving the Pepsi out of the way. So then Pete also sent these big Budweiser. Oh, these look pretty cracked up, though. One of them does. But that's okay. We know how to fix that. Spray it with some clear lacquer. And then that would bond into all the little cracked areas. And should be able to get that decal to float off. However, I was looking through model railway magazines. And I found that old... Um, uh, the building made by Model Power. Which I actually have. Actually, maybe I'll, I'll see if I can get it. But anyway, that building is the brewery. And on the roof of the brewery, it has one of these. Up on the roof on one side. So if I can't salvage the cracks in here... I could maybe use the other one on that um, on that roof. So again, thanks Pete. This is really, really quite nice. And uh, what else can I say? Except thank you again. So thank you once again, Pete, for sending out this wonderful package from England to one of the old Commonwealth countries. Really appreciate that. So everybody, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to this channel. Pound that notification bell so every time I make a new video, you're the first one to see it. And sign up for our Monster Hobbies newsletter over at www.monster-hobbies.ca. If you do that, you can save on a lot of our select products and other great features on our website. So again, check that out. And until next time, everybody, happy model building, and we'll see you in the next video.